It's Ronnie to the rescue report. Neighbors celebrate it when several blighted abandoned homes were torn down on the block. But they're not happy with what has yet to be done. That has our Ronnie Dahl taking action again. She's live on the city's west side tonight and joins us live. Ronnie? Yeah, we've heard it once. We've heard it a dozen times. One of the reasons that the cost to tear down a house in Detroit is on the rise had to do with the higher quality of work, which meant better dirt and repaired sidewalks. Well, the neighbors over here want to know if that's the case. Why do their sidewalks look like this? Talk about a trip hazard. And what in the world is in this dirt? On Rosa Parks Boulevard near the Lodge Freeway, vacant lots are replacing blighted, abandoned homes. I'm happy to see them come down. But the progress hasn't been a rose garden. It looks terrible. As contractors tear down the houses, neighbors say they're leaving a mess behind from broken sidewalks. I walk this neighborhood just to see how bad the walks are, and they're getting really bad. To dirty dirt. What they're dropping off is rocks and stones. And they say it's been like this since house demo number one. This house was torn down over a year ago. Over a year ago, no one's been back to fix the sidewalk. No, they haven't. Over a year ago, and no one's been back to put topsoil down and hay and grass seed. None whatsoever. Last year, the price to tear down a house reached an all time high under the Duggan administration. The mayor explained it away, citing stricter protocols, including better fill dirt and sidewalk repairs. The prices are now coming down, but in a recent interview, the board chair for the Detroit Land Bank Authority says quality standards have remained the same. We have not changed the standards of what they're supposed to do at all. It's a good idea trying to get these uh, rid of these old houses, but they need to take a uh, be a little bit more diligent in uh, the way they execute it. Late this afternoon, the Detroit Land Bank Authority did send an inspector out here to try to get a handle on this problem. Is this something to do with the contractors or what exactly is going on? So we're going to be following up with them. Also, just a quick reminder out there, if you do have an issue with the city-issued contractor that's working on a house demolition, there's a tip line for you to report that problem. It's 1-844-DET-DEMO, and we have that on our website, WXYZ.com. Reporting live from the city's West side. Back to you. All right, Ronnie, thank you very much. Always good work. Appreciate it.